Good morning. Good afternoon. Happy Easter. Welcome to Old St. Mary's Church as we gather to celebrate the Eucharist on this Easter morning. Afternoon. <laughs> Please take a moment to silence all electronic devices. All the readings can be found on page 1165 in your hymnal, and the music and readings can be found in this week's worship aid. So feel free to follow along on your phone or device if you'd like on the OSM Parish app or click the Sunday Worship Aid link on the front page of our parish website, oldstmarys.com. Presiding and preaching at this liturgy is Father Wilson Smith. Please stand and join in singing our gathering song, number 614, Jesus Christ is Risen Today, number 614. Jesus Christ. 
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Happy Easter. Amen. My brothers and sisters, before we celebrate this sacred liturgy, let's take a moment to acknowledge our sins, trusting that God is always loving and always merciful. Lord Jesus, you are the Paschal Lamb who reconciles us to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea? Beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Thanks to the Lord, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. God's right hand is exalted. I shall not die, but live anew, declaring the works of the Lord. This is the the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord of love and mercy has brought wonder to our eyes. This is the day the
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The Word of the Lord. Let Christians all their voices raise and offer Easter hymns of praise as on the Paschal Lamb they gaze. Oh, praise the sinless lamb from heaven above saved all creation sin removed restored us to the father's love oh praise the lamb when death to life in fearsome strains gives way as Christ his life regains, the Prince of Life immortal reigns. Oh, praise the Lamb. What saw you, Mary, on the way? I saw the tomb where Jesus lay. His glory brightens us this day. Oh, praise the Lamb. I saw the angels and did hear the witness they did volunteer. The winding roads were all so near. Oh, praise the from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark 
and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went to the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. As I begin this homily, I want to be clear that um, I did actually did pretty well in seminary. Um, I went to at least 70% of my classes more than half the time. <laughs> so don't question what you're about to hear, you know. It comes with authority. Um, this day, I think we can all agree, is um, Easter. Um, but beyond that, I think we can all agree this day, Easter, is first and foremost uh, about chocolate and um, how delicious chocolate is. Now, I'm not a, a dark chocolate fellow, okay? I'm a, just a milk chocolate guy. But if you like dark chocolate, I don't judge your journey. I think that's... I'm happy for you. When I was a kid, you know, I didn't like any normal chocolate, I just, I got a white chocolate bunny. And uh, my mom, you know, we would, we would search for Easter eggs, my brother and I, and he was faster and I was not um, fast. And he got all the eggs for the most part, and I got like three. And my mom would make him split them, <laughs> split them with me anyway, so the hunt was kind of pointless. <laughs> so that's part of my history with chocolate. What the heck am I talking about? No, anyway. So the, I want to know. I want to. I want to stake a claim here. I think you know, and I, I'm coming to it in a roundabout sort of way. You know, heaven is fine. Chocolate is better. Okay, and Easter proves this to us. In case that's not clear, you know, let's let's look into it. Let's look at. Like, what's, what are the good, what's the good stuff that you associate with heaven? There's lots of good things that you can associate with heaven, right? We have the images. You probably picture a lot of brightness, right? It always seems to be kind of sunny up there. Um, seems like there's a lot of harps. Do you get that impression? There's just harps everywhere, and people are playing harps. Maybe the angels are playing the harps. Is sort of the clouds, everybody's sort of walking in the clouds. But then everybody has a, you know, an idea of what heaven might contain, and some of them are like activities, eh? You know, I knew a guy I met in Texas, the first time I went down to Texas. His idea of heaven was just all day, every day, uh, hand fishing, noodling, they call it. And I said, what in the world is that? He said, you put your arm in the hole. Wait for the catfish to bite you, pull it out. <laughs> Put the catfish in the boat. That right there is heaven. <laughs> Not well. Okay. That's his, uh, that's his heaven. That's what he's picturing. Uh, you know, there's other activities. I knew a guy uh, in Saratoga, in New York, where the Paulists have this, this place at Lake George. And... He just liked going to the racetrack and watching the horses. He loved the horses, you know. And uh, Us seminarians were sort of standing behind him, 
in line at the, at the bedding area and he got a call from, um, not to scandalize you, I mean, you're betting like a dollar or whatever, you know, which is what this guy ultimately, like, he got a call from his wife, you know, and he's like, Colleen, I'm not at the track, I swear to God. <laughs> you know, so we figure, okay, he's coming up from Boston, I think. Coming from Boston, I swear to God I'm not at the track. I'm not at the track, you know. And it finally broke down. He's like, I'm, not bet I'm, not, I'm at the track, but I'm only betting a dollar. <laughs> he was betting more than a dollar. But he was in heaven, you know. He just told us, he's like, this is my joy. I love being outside watching the horses. Other ideas of heaven, you know, people describe a good hamburger. People love a good hamburger. They're like, oh, this hamburger is heaven. I hope when I get to heaven, there's just nothing but hamburgers and, you know, or... Um, Maybe enjoy raising Cain's chicken. You know, some people, I love that stuff. Especially the sauce. Heaven has endless amounts of that stuff. Let's go right now. You know what I'm saying? That's good. Pretty good. Now, here's the, here's the twist. I'm getting you all excited about the idea of heaven and the experiences you can have there and the things you can taste and enjoy. I got news for you. You can't do it. You can't do it. I don't think you can. Okay? One of the issues we have here, and this is why, incidentally, heaven is not our final destination. I, 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 I have to remind myself of this sometimes. Right? We are not meant to be like disembodied orbs floating around in clouds. No matter how many harps there are. It's a beautiful place. It's with God. It's a place of peace. And it is a kind of being at home. But to taste that chocolate, you need a body, don't you? You got to be able to ingest that chocolate and bite down on it, you know, and taste that tasty coffee crisp. You don't have that in the States, by the way. Mr. Big, you don't have. Coffee Crisp, you don't have. These are all Canadian chocolate bars I'm listing up. Um, I don't fault you for that. You can't taste it without a body. And what should that remind us of? Is that to be a person, to be a human being made in the image and likeness of God, is to be both body and soul together. That's what makes a person, okay? So when we talk about this day and we, we get excited about Jesus' resurrection, we're not just excited in some metaphorical or ephemeral or abstract or untouchable kind of way. Jesus didn't resurrect into an orb of some sort or into some ray of light. He doesn't just live on in light over darkness or love over hate, though he is those things, right? He rose, he resurrected in his body. And that reminds us that to God, Jesus' body was as precious to God as his soul. And it's the same for us as Catholics. And we honor this even in liturgy throughout our lives and in after life. If you've ever been to a funeral and see the funeral rites, you'll see that the priest or deacon will sprinkle with holy water on the casket or cremains. And then we take incense and we go around the body to honor its sacredness. Why would we do that if we think there's nothing there, right? If we think there's nothing significant about this thing that's remaining, if it's just material like any other kind of earth, any other kind of thing. No. We do it because this body was made in the image and likeness of God no less than the soul. And we believe that one day, just as Jesus experienced, our soul will return to our body and we will be that whole person again that God created. In other words, heaven in a sense is even better than you think it is. Even better than you can imagine. 
You know, because apart from the experiences I named, I know some of them are kind of trivial, right? They're kind of might seem silly or what have you. Something we look forward to is seeing our loved ones again. Seeing the people who have gone before us, right? And being able to commune, to communicate, to, to embrace each other, to, to share a table, to laugh together, right? And the vision that Jesus is presenting in his embodiedness is that we will do that, literally, in our bodies as we are, to hug someone else and actually feel their body against ours again. That's going to happen. That's where the hope really comes from. And I know that sometimes we think of heaven and things, it's kind of abstract and whatever, and I'm not saying we have the whole mystery uncovered, but we know that when Jesus rose from the dead, he returned to his disciples, he ate some fish, right? He walked around, he told stories. He was fully himself, fully alive. And one day that will be us, fully alive. No more tears, no more suffering, no more loss, no more pain, no more death. Everything and anything we could ever want is ours. All because on Easter, Jesus rose from the dead. And so, I say once again, heaven is good. Being able to taste chocolate is better. (laughs) Happy Easter. Dear brethren, through the Paschal Mystery, we've been buried with Christ in baptism so we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God and the Holy Catholic Church. And so, I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his works? and all his empty show. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. And Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Draw water joyfully. You draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. From the springs of salvation. Sacarana was con alegría. Sacarana was con alegría de las fuentes de salvación. De las fuentes. Fuentes de 
On this sacred day of days, let us pray that the resurrection of Christ will touch, heal, and strengthen all people. For the church gathered in Easter joy throughout the world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all entrusted with leading the world's nations, that peace will reign in their minds and in their hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christians and others throughout the world who live under the threat of religious persecution and violence, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all children, especially those of our old St. Mary's community, that they may always walk in the way and in the love of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who will gather with their families this Easter, May those celebrations be marked by reconciliation and rejoicing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly baptized and confirmed, that throughout the coming 50 days of Easter, they will rejoice in their newness of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and for their families, health care providers, and first responders. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have died in the war of Ukraine and all the dead will rejoice in everlasting life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, and for the intentions of the members of the old St. Mary's Parish and all the intentions we hold in prayerful silence. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Your people call out to you, O God of wonder. Hear our prayer and strengthen our Easter faith. We ask this in the name of your Son, the one who suffered, died, and rose from the dead. He is the Christ, he who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Friends, as always, we thank you for your financial support of the ministries at Old St. Mary's. Those of you joining us from home can mail in your contributions to the parish office or donate online by clicking on the Give button on the parish website, oldstmarys.com. Thank you so much again for your generosity.
pray, brothers and sisters, in my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying is destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, 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 God. Peace, 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 peace to you, Linda. Peace, peace, Bargy. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are the poor, the people who live in God's holy reign. Blessed are the sad, for comfort is yours through sorrow and pain. Blessed are the meek, for you will inherit what long was denied. Hungry, thirsty ones. Your longing for justice will be satisfied. Rejoice, be glad, for heaven is coming. Rejoice, be glad, for heaven is coming. Rejoice. For heaven is coming. 
blessed of the kind, the merciful one shall mercy receive. Blessed are the good, your heart shall see God because you believe. Blessed children come, grow peace for a planet still choking with hate. Persecuted ones, for you all the blessings of heaven await. Rejoice, be glad, for heaven is coming. Rejoice, be glad, for heaven is coming. Rejoice, be glad, for heaven is coming to you. You are salt and light, lepers taste and see God's glory revealed. Let your goodness shine, the lost are restored, the broken are healed, all will be fulfilled. The law and the prophets have shown us the way, heaven comes to earth. Rejoice and be glad for creation's new day.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Friends, thank you so much for joining us in prayer and Easter worship today. It was so good to have you. Uh, If you're visiting for the first time or the first time in a while, we want to send a special welcome to you. We're so glad you're here. Um, I do want to also give a shout out, with the cameras over there, to my nephew Charlie, who turns six years old today in Guelph, Ontario. Hi, Charlie. Happy birthday. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you. Happy birthday and happy Easter. Uncle Stu loves you. Um, And we also want to note that, you know, during the weeks of Lent, our parish community, we've prayed and fasted and given alms in solidarity with the poorest in our global community. So we just want to note, if you have uh, one of those CRS rice bowls still at home, um, please remember just to return it when you get a chance uh, next weekend when you come to Mass. It would be really helpful. Also, if you could convert your donations to uh, currency or a check payable to Old St. Mary's, that would help a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, Also note that our Just One Item collection is next weekend, the third Sunday of the month. So when shopping this week, consider purchasing something extra for our neighbors uh, down at St. James. Uh, Just One Item means like a bar of soap, a roll of toilet paper, a tube of toothpaste, that kind of thing. Uh, You can place it in the baskets in the commons when you come to Mass, or just bring it to the parish office sometime during the week. That's fine. Uh, And finally, we just ask, it would be of great assistance, if possible, if you could return your hymnals to the rack after this Mass, and generally just look around the area if there's anything to tidy up. We're really appreciative of that. Thank you so much. Okay, that's everything. Enjoy some chocolate, though, for real. Like, actually eat it. Like, actually eat it. I wasn't kidding. Like, eat the chocolate, Uh, you know. Some people have lamb, which is a little on the nose for me, but... Do eat it. It's all good. Just be happy and celebrate, okay? The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our recessional hymn is number 97, This is the Day, number 97. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad, be glad, be glad, be glad and rejoice in it. Let us be glad, be glad, be glad, be glad and rejoice in it. This is the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made, let us be glad, be glad, be glad, be glad and rejoice in it. Let us be glad, be glad, be glad, be glad and rejoice in it.